dear students, let us see what is there in this question. Now, Feynman diagram shows a particle interaction involving a W negative boson. So this is a W negative boson which is uh, getting liberated. Uh, which particles are interacting? Okay, so in this question, my dear student, first of all, as I have told you even earlier, that first of all, we have to understand like what is the direction of the time that they are choosing here. In this case, it is vertical, like it is in the upward direction, I would say, not vertical, sorry, in the upward direction. In the earlier example, like if you have done the other videos, if you have seen those videos also, so there was one question in which the time was taken on the horizontal axis. So um, these are two different methods. Um, according to what I have uh, read up to now, the Cambridge books, they are using the horizontal direction and the Oxford books are using the, the upward direction and IB do not want to offend anybody, isn't it? So <laughs> the, half of the questions are based on this and half of the questions are based on this. So you should be good with both of them. Now, so this is uh, the time axis, okay? Like the time is going up. Nothing can go beyond time. Like nothing can go against the time. Like if time is increasing, time has to move in positive direction. Obviously, things will be moving in the positive direction only. Nothing hypothetical is taking place. No Avengers movie is going on here. So uh, we are not moving backward into, into the time. Okay. Now, so time is going up. So you see, I what we do is we just create two timestamps, this and this. These are the two events which are taking place in like they are separated with time and space. So space means that they are actually occurring at two different locations and time is that they are occurring at two different time locations. Uh, so this time, let me call it as T1. Let me call this as T2. So at T1, X is coming and Y was also coming, but it nothing was happening to Y at that time. X was coming and at a T1, X broke down into two particles. So it gave W negative boson outside and U was created. So X was converted into U and W negative boson was also created. W negative boson is that kind of a particle which has a very small uh, life. Like it just travels a distance of 10 raised to power negative 18 meters. And after that, it has to die. So this W negative boson reaches here. And by that time, the life is over. <clears throat> it has to now uh, separate itself into two particles. So here, uh, basically it is not separating into two particles, sorry. Y is also coming from the other side. So W negative boson and Y, they are interacting with each other. And Y particle is absorbing the W negative. So W negative is absorbed by Y. And after this time, you can see this is after. And beyond this line is before before the event so after t2 there is only one particle there which is z and before t2 there are two particles one is w minus and another is y so w minus and y are coming they are interacting with each other and they convert themselves into one particle that is z so this particle has been created overall the reaction can be written as x is converted into w minus plus u and the second is like w minus plus y is giving us Z. Overall, I can add these two and W minus can be eliminated from the reaction. I can just say that X plus Y is equal to Z plus U. Clearly, which particles are interacting with each other? X and Y. Although, although technically, if you go to like details, we now know that actually X and Y are not doing anything. They are separated in the space as well as in time like you would be wondering like what is happening to that particle at that particle y is at far away distance x is at a dis distance different distance even then because they are exchanging particle x has given out some particle and y has absorbed that particle okay that is the interaction so overall we can say that yes x and y are interacting with each other technically x and y are separated in time and space with each other so this is how we do this question, my dear student. I think explanation is good enough. If you people feel like even now, like you are people are not able to understand anything, do let me know. My dear student, refinement diagram, always remember, you have to first find the direction of time. This is your first step. And then you have to create the timestamps T1 and T2. 
to actually understand what is happening and this direction shown here if they are the direction is same as that of time because like oh, every direction is going upward they are talking about particle if the direction is shown in opposite direction then it is the antiparticle in some other question we are going to learn about the antiparticle Feynman diagrams also keep looking forward to those questions okay then all the best bye